Well, I fixed another portal linking and fellow PPs found the end portal, as I mentioned last episode. But guess what they did? They beat the Ender Dragon as well. So today, I'm starting off with a task. Oh, also, yeah, I used my netherite that I had from the sugarcane farm to build full netherite armor and um, some things. Also, I set up a little villager trading hall that I'll show you later. It's just three villagers with like a mending villager, protection four, fire protection four. And also, why do I keep getting tasked to do stuff? I mean, this time I tasked myself. But is this like sleep? Is this illegal or something? Is this slavery in Minecraft? I don't know. Am I? I don't want to joke about that, but is that is that what it is? Did someone check up on that? Uh, let, let's just let's just not concentrate on that part of what I'm doing today. But right now I'm starting off with just killing the wither. It's gonna be quite easy now that we're above bedrock and we've beat the. Actually, being above bedrock has almost nothing to do with it. But now that we've beaten the Ender Dragon, I didn't actually do anything. Now that we have access to the end portal. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in there and just kill the wither. It's gonna be pretty easy because there's a wither trapping glitch in Minecraft. Well, I don't really know if it's a glitch or not, but uh, so you can just trap the wither and then kill it super easily. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And I am here. What is popping guys? The end? Yes, it is. I'm worth $6,129.47 and they're not dollars. They're PB coins. Yes, you heard me right. They're PB coins. Let's go down. Water bucket clutch. See, it's so easy. Alrighty, so here is the actual end portal. Right, so I just have to dig down here, clear out a little area. Alright, so the room is ready. Down an obsidian block over here. And then put down three blocks like this. Three obsidian blocks, that is. And then I can take these out. It should be soul sand time like this. So this is the positioning that it's supposed to be in. I'm just gonna place the heads, one here, one here, and then, are you ready for this? Guys, we're beating the wither. We haven't even touched the ender dragon. We actually just went to the nether like last episode, but wither time. Oh my Lord, withering heights. This game is easy, super, super. Okay, let's just hope it doesn't escape. Please don't escape with her. Okay, it's not e e escaping. That's that's very, 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 very good news. All right, guys, so like a couple hits later, I just, um, well, I, I, I just killed the wither. So um, that took like two minutes. Guys, a wither's head looks so similar to a wither skeleton skull, but nether star. Most importantly, nether star. What my main goal is for today is now that we have kind of a villager breeder. Well, it's not really a breeder, it's just a bunch of villagers in a in a bed box. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Enderman, Enderman, you don't do that. Yes, you lived a very sad life. Yeah, so the main plan is to build like an iron farm or a gold farm, but gold farm is gonna be quite complicated and I'll need a magma farm for that before and maybe even a wither rose farm for the magma farm. It's just, it's just too complicated to make a gold farm right now. It's just not the time. But an iron farm, on the other hand, is very, very possible. Oh my god. It's so yeah, guys, sorry to disappoint, but no Elytra today, but we will. Oh my god. How do I keep looking at them? All right, guys, so quick home update. It's another portal has been beautified. You see this right here? It, it took me like two minutes to do this. It's very low effort. It's not, it's not my best work. So I set up a little brewery kind of thing over here from which I cured one villager once in my trading hall. And then this, these are the leftover potions, just one, one over here, one over here. Right, so now I want to show you my villager area kind of thing, because that's gonna be essential if we want to build an iron. But also more importantly, I should probably put my nether star in the ender chest, because I do not want to die with this thing on me. That would be very, very sad. All right, guys, so welcome to my villager trading hall. I mean, I have a couple villagers here that I just keep tossing bread to once in a while and then they make some more babies. So, you know, that's good. I mean, the villagers had a threesome once. I mean, I think these three did and they produced one baby. So someone cheated. Guys, get your life together. Get your life together, villagers. Yes, I'm looking at you. Yes, stop ignoring me. Wow, they just turned their head back. So the villager project is going really well. 
I have a Mending Villager already. He also sells Bane of Arthur Parts 5, which I don't really like personally as an enchant. But farming up the emeralds was super, super easy. After that massive, insane sugarcane farm, it was super easy to just farm up the emeralds. This is still a work in progress. This one is supposed to be a looting three and protection four, fire protection four villager. And this one is a protection four flame and a fire protection one villager, but I don't really need the fire protection one. I have, I have silk touch here for just two emeralds. So trading has been going great. And this is my breeder as well. So this is where I plan to take out the villagers from if I can get up here. Yes, so I plan to take villagers out from here all the way back to my base, which is quite, quite, very insanely, amazingly far from here. So I'm gonna have to come up a creative way. Get in the boat! Get in the boat! Get in the boat! Yes, this boat, right there, yes. There we go. I'm a professional. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to put them in my boat or something. So what is the problem, you may ask? Well, there's actually, there, there's no problem. I, I can do this. So, time lapse. And go. Psych, you got scammed. There's no time lapse. And actually, I kind of got scammed as well. Replay mod decided to corrupt because the file was like two hours long. So replay mod just decided to love. Uh, uh, yeah, not today. I'm not. I'm not giving you the recording today. So it didn't work. But the farm is 90% my design, so I can explain most of it. So let's just hop into spectator mode, and I'll show you the farm. So yeah, let me just preface this by saying this was around a 20-minute build and a one and a half hours getting the villagers into place and the zombies into place. I actually recorded a huge funny moment thing for that and it just, oh, it corrupted. It was like boating the villagers all over, from all the way over there, from like really, really far away from, from, that, from that area. There's a village there, which I usually go to. That's my village. All the way to here. And then I set up like a bubble column here. It was just a dirt bubble column that went all the way up to the villagers' cells. And it was about... Yeah, let me reiterate. It was like a 20 minute build and a one and a half hours getting the villagers up. This part is just completely my design. It's just improvisation. And the waterfall looks nice as well. The killing chamber is completely my thing as well. I just wanted to improvise. I wanted it to look kind of beautiful. And with shaders, it really, really does. And the farm's quite efficient as well. I was actually quite surprised by how efficient this farm is. But Getting the villagers and the zombie over and doing everything with that was a pain to say the least. Oh my god, it looks even sexier with the rain. I'm quite proud of this spectator battle beat and I'm invisible. Alright, so sunset. And this just looks amazing in every weather, every time of day. I am... I am amazed by this. This is actually my first iron farm design that I designed myself. I want to cry. So I bought two shulker boxes for $1,000 each. Why do I crowd? Why am I like this? So I bought two shulker boxes for $1,000 each. I think the investment was well, well, well worth it. I am very happy to be the owner of some shulker boxes now. But because I cannot be satisfied with the PB craft episode, without a time lapse and you're looking at the back of my head it's looking quite nice with full netherite and everything and now i even have good enchants like decently good enchants because i will not be satisfied with a pb craft episode until we have an amazing time lapse all right i'm going to head into the nether and see where it's going to be possible to build a cooked pork chop farm so a hoglin farm if you don't know that it's gonna be, it's like super easy to build. It's just a ton of blocks with. All right, so I'm just gonna try and look for a crimson forest biome. I don't need it to be very big, but I just need it to be there. All right, so we're in a crimson forest biome and I have two shulker boxes now so I can just carry the materials that I need for the farm over into here. This is going to be a quite easy, simple and quick build but it's gonna be very useful. No more cows, no more frustration. But I love my cows, I'm just being honest. Anyway, time lapse. 
for real this time, please. The time lapse you just saw was quite a long time ago. Well, at least it feels like that. Because the server has transformed. I got my wish of getting a lot of people in here and it worked. It worked. There's a lot of people online all the time. There's, there's a lot of people in the Discord. We have over 100 members. But the story of how I got here is an interesting one. It all started with the promotion of the BBCraft server. We promoted a lot. A lot, a lot, and a lot of people joined, right? Naturally, that was a good thing. Naturally, it, it called for griefers. Naturally, people blew stuff up, which I was easily able to restore. So do not try griefing because it's going to be pointless. It's just going to be a minor inconvenience that's, that's going to get you banned. So do not do that. Just try not to. What I should have known is opening up a vanilla survival SMP server to the public would cause some issues. And one of those issues is just plain old war. And as that time falls, it's morning. Wow, that, that really ruined my line. We're gonna have war. I'm stuck inside a wall. That's, that's great. And actually, I got an elytra after that. It was super easy. What a fellow people told me to do is just um, get two gas tears and two wither skeleton skulls and they will give me an elytra. So yeah, it was much easier than grinding for it by myself. We're bigger than that now. We're bigger. This PB craft means something more. Most of these things are quite ugly, which you would naturally expect with a public server. But there's gonna be a whitelist soon. And because there's a hundred people now, it's gonna be there's gonna be quite a lot of people in the whitelist as well. But we've got a war on our hands. I don't know when it's starting. I don't know how it's gonna play out. I don't exactly have an have a clear understanding of how this war is gonna play out yet. But it is a war, and wars have very little rules. And ours is probably not gonna have a lot of rules as well. But now that we're around here, what I want to show you is... Right, so this is an area that my friend, Fruity Boy, and I, if you remember him from the earlier episode, he's, he's an OG PB crafter. And we have actually terraformed this little bit of island that's, that's right here. Let me show you, yeah, this island right here. We've terraformed all of this. To make something big it's gonna it's gonna be all three of these islands combined that's how big it's gonna be that to accommodate these hundred plus people that we have on the people craft server now we would need space we will need a lot of space and I wanted to help with that so oh my god the snow looks so nice oh it's snowing I love this oh and there's a it's like raining and snowing at the same time that's really ruins the effect, Minecraft. Whatever. And there's- how's there a beach next to an ice biome? I don't get it. Like, this is technically a beach. In, in real life, this would be a terrible location for a hotel. But, well, this is- how are there turtles here? Bro, 
What? <laughs> well, looks like the turtle's having a nice time. And there's a singular turtle. How lonely it must be over here. It's so far away from everything else. So, on that note, I'd like to end today's PP Craft episode. It was really fun having you. It was really fun, this whole explanation. I'm quite excited of what this server has coming for it. You can use slash sit now to just sit down, <laughs> like you saw at the start of this clip. But, yeah, I'm happy, guys. Keep joining. Keep joining. I'd love to have you coming. What, what's the worst that could happen? Everything blows up. I move to another part of the world. The world is like 50,000 blocks across, 50,000 blocks wide. We're, we're not short on space. So, I should... This is very dangerous. I, I, why, why do I do this? Why, why, why am I like this? I don't, I don't get it. Life, life is just hard, you know? I, I mean, I, I, I'm contradicting what I said like five minutes, two minutes ago. Like, life is easy, but it's not. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. 